Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a DreadFX review. I've been kindly sent out a cleaning kit and I think it's a really good one. We're going to take a closer look in a minute. This is the SOS Emergency Cleaning Kit, Save Our Spray. You get 10 pieces inside. We're going to do a little demo with it. We've got a couple of brushes to clean so I can take you through a little cleaning session with it so you get to see what it's like, how it performs. Let's take a closer look. Right guys, that's the packaging, nice and simple. That's what I like about it, you're not overpaying for fancy boxes and things like that, it just comes nice budget packaging. Inside the box when you open it, you will get a leaflet inside, which is this one here. This is from the Airbrush Company, I'm going to leave links in the description to this. You get a little write upon it telling you a bit about the product inside so that's the first thing you'll see when you get it out of the box the thing that drew my eye to this was this this is like a solvent cleaner in an aerosol and you've got your little nozzle that you can connect to the front of it so if, you, if you've ever used like a WD-40 can you get the similar sort of thing like that now this is going to come in really handy to aim down your cup of your airbrush, pull your needle out and blast through and that's what we're going to do today. It's like a spot clean, you can just spray down, blast through. So you get that in the box. You get two plastic cups to soak, soak your nozzle in so you can use that cleaner or your own cleaner in these and you can soak your pot, soak your bits of your airbrush. These are solvent proof so you get two of them in there. You then get a bag with some really little cool cleaners. Now I do use these cleaners, these types of cleaners, and I think they're really, really useful. They're the little brushes that you can put down the nozzles. So you get two of those, which are really handy for going in intricate places. You've got a smaller one and a thicker one out the two so you get them two and then you get these like tiny little cleaners as well that you can push down the brush and go into intricate places in the brush with these taking out bits of paint bits of dirt you get two different sizes of these in there and then you also get a small microfiber cloth inside so you can strip your airbrush down on your microfiber cloth, do your cleaning, you can use this to wipe your brush down after. So we've got two brushes, we've got the Ultra and the Evo that need a clean. Now I've also got my, my go-to cleaning which I will always use as well. So you can introduce your own cleaning methods with it as well, but I think for a spot cleaning after a session of airbrushing, if you want to give it a quick blast through, the aerosol is going to work really well. And then you can use your own cleaners as well to soak your bits in the pots. So cleaning the Evo. Nice quick one with this that we're going to try is I'm going to take the needle out because the needle is dirty. And then we can use the aerosol point it down into the brush and you can blast through. That literally came through the front, front of the brush then. And that's blasted through. It's a sort of a mild solvent. It's not a very strong smelling solvent, but that's literally just blasted straight through the nozzle with the needle out. You can then Get your cleaning brushes like this and if you wanted to clean the front nozzle these come in really handy because you can just put these into the nozzles like that give it a clean use your microfiber so you can give these a clean like that with these I just find these really handy. I've got some of these, but it's nice to get it in a set with some actual cleaner. Like that. You've also got these ones for intricate cleaning, so you can go in with these ones as well. 
and these really do go down into that nozzle and clean it. You can use your microfiber for your needle. You could drop a bit of cleaner on the actual microfiber. Like that. And then just rub your needle through. And that's taking the paint straight off. So it's a good cleaner. So that's your needle clean. If you wanted to soak some of the bits, you could put the nozzle in. You could put the prong cap in on this. Not a problem. You could soak the cup. You've got room to put the cup in there. And you can either soak that with the spray, but I think you'd use a quite a bit of the spray to fill that up. I'd just use this for blasting through the brush. You can give that another blast through with that off like that. That just blasts through any dirt. You can also use that cleaner to wipe the bodies down. If you get any paint on the bodies, you can use the cleaner in the aerosol and wipe that paint, excess paint off your brushes. Not a problem. So a nice kit, guys, I think. For the price, I think it's, um, it's well worth a look. It really is. It's not going to break the bank. It really isn't. And it's just handy to have, especially with these little cleaning, like pipe cleaner things like this. When you want to get into them little intricate places, if you wanted to get down in here and just give it a little clean, you can get these right in and give your brush a nice little maintenance check. You can clean all around the trigger. If you've got any stubborn paint, you can just get in there with these and clean them up. So that's the SOS kit. I'd do the same sort of thing with the Ultra. If you was cleaning the Ultra, you could take the front off. You could do the same with the nozzle on this. You could soak the nozzle, take your needle out, blast through. You could soak the cup as well in there and then just use the bits that come in the box. So that's the SOS Save Our Spray Cleaner. I think it's a big thumbs up, guys. It really is. It's always handy to have a cleaning kit to hand where you've got all the bits in one box. Nice and easy. So I'll leave links in the description to this cleaning kit from airbrushes.com. I'm also leaving a load of other links. I've gone through their site and just pulled out some really good bits that are hand at useful. If you're looking for connectors, airlines, a compressor, I've pulled out my sort of go-to ones that I'd buy if I was on the market for buying them bits. I think there's some really cool stuff on there. So all the links will be in the description, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little review and I'll see you lot in the next one. Cheers.